Good day to you. This is David Norman. Crazy, isn't it? The crazy thing is that even very successful sports figures and sports coaches admit they need a coach. Yet, try to get a management consultant to admit they need a coach. This is difficult. Is it the work ourselves that we do? Is it that the barrier? Is it our egos? Or is it a combination? Or is it something else totally? As a management consultant, you are an outsider hired for a project to improve. Well, something, isn't it? Something from operations, profitability, HR, IT, strategy, and so forth, using your skills and experiences and buttressed by your consulting competencies. In turn, either during, periodically, or after the engagement, you are then rewarded both financially and psychically. Euphemistically, both your pocketbook and your ego seem full. Feels good to be appreciated and, in turn, to get possible new business or even referrals. And then the cycle repeats itself, hunting, killing, getting full, and ready to hunt again. The side of the coin that's opposite the tangible and intangible rewards is the side that is full of anxieties and stress, especially as a solopreneur. Earlier in my career, my mentor once said, As a consultant, you sleep like a baby. You wake up every two hours screaming and screaming about your client's problems, not yours. If that weren't enough, all day you are surrounded by people wanting your time and your answers. Overnight, others, family perhaps, demand additional time and perhaps answers. As a consultant, you are never alone, yet you're often lonely with no one to talk to about those types of issues, challenges, or problems, the nagging ones, the unanswered questions, the unknowns. Certainly you can't talk to your clients about how to be a better consultant. They already see you as such, and they reinforce that belief by hiring you. You can't talk to family or friends about those difficult decisions because they have may, may have heard it too often or don't appreciate the nuances and the possible answers. You can't go to your paid advisors, the CPAs, the wealth planners, the attorneys, and so forth. They likely have ulterior motivations. In short, you're never alone, but you're often lonely. Yet even the most successful sports figures admit they need coaches. Can you? Where do you go for that safe haven where you can open the kimono without fear of embarrassment or judgment? Where can you go to seek answers to those questions? Where can you go to get your answers questioned? Where can you go to be coached, to see and think differently, and to get out of your own way? You are likely familiar with the peer group concept or practice. Now there is one specifically designed by consultants for consultants to be that safe haven, that place where you can go to be to open the kimono and get your answers questioned, and it is augmented by an experienced coach. As one coach he recently said to me, it's insurance against stupid. So check out www.tcpgroup.net for that safe haven. Join with your peers in becoming better consultants while getting your answers questioned and avoiding stupid. Thank you for being with me today. We'll see you once again soon. David Norman, I'm out of here.